You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me cheap. You can say I lay a C. You can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break my honor. What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. We are back today and we are playing a new game. It's actually not new, it's been out for quite a while. It's called Blaze Blue. Uh, this was a fighting game that originally came out in like 2008. It's been pushed to just about every platform out there and was even made an anime series in fall of 2013. Uh, and we're gonna jump straight into this game. And we'll check some stuff on my hero first real quick, make sure I've got everything leveled up. I'm mainly looking at skills. I uh, need to upgrade these. That's where my damage is going to come from. And we want to do as much damage as possible. So make sure you go through there and keep these upgraded because this is pretty much where you're going to be able to do a lot of that. All right, we're out of those uh, that we need to upgrade that. Uh, we've only got four, so we can't make a full level on that. Emblems and training, we'll take a look at those in another video. So let's get into the campaign of it, the story mode. Um, on chapter two, I believe, yes, and we're a little, little bit, but I don't know, halfway through it. So this is gonna go ahead and jump in. Now, after you complete chapter one, this is the mobile version, by the way. So after you complete the first chapter, you unlock the auto attack mode, which it does what it says, it auto attacks everything, but that does get quite boring. Uh, so we're gonna do as much damage as we can possible with my own combos as you can see some of them are gonna be repeated because I do not know all of the combos yet this game has a lot of variations of uh, slashing tapping and just multiple combos that you could use to do damage in this game all right that person should be dead all right here we go go going on to the second stage there are time limits this game very closely reminds me of Guilty Gear. I remember that game from back in the late 90s, early 2000s, playing it on PlayStation, staying up half the night playing it with friends. So it's pretty cool to actually see a game that resembles, you know, the culture that you played before. Oh, we got shocked. All right, here we go. Catch the ones out the air, you gotta swipe up just to get to them. And then you can bring them down. And go ahead and kill them. All right, here we go with the boss. Got another one of these guys over here. Those things can get quite annoying. Oh, here we go. All right. Get you some. Let's go. And this is just going to let you do extra damage. As you can see, that guy over there, he's doing like an AOE thing. So that's really interesting. I know you guys like games like this. We did one called uh, Elsword like a while back. So we're gonna visit this one a lot. I actually been playing it quite a bit the past couple days, just testing it out, seeing how, you know, I liked it and whatnot. And it's pretty amazing game. I've had a lot of fun playing it so far and I'm barely getting into it at all. So if we can get this person dead right here, die. Don't you slip out, die. There. All right, that was just that one round. That was intense. Challenge is clear, and we pulled three stars on it. Hopefully, yes, we did. I like pulling three stars because you get the extra chest once you do finish the whole campaigns or chapters. Uh, we got some new equipment, so let's take a look. All right, some more green, so we're gonna equip that. Go back to it, enhance it. Auto fill, not gonna take much because I've already used that up to nine. We got some diamonds for doing that, nice. Uh, seems like a fairly rewarding game so far. I've not bought any diamonds. I'm up to 184 already and You know, I'm just on chapter 2 so it's a fairly rewarding game and the characters and the animations They are just so beautiful like I've not seen a game look this good on mobile in quite a while Especially for the side-scroller types usually they use you know the lesser cornier looking graphics, which I mean they're okay But in my opinion these have some of the best anime graphics that are available on mobile today you know and there's a lot of guys all right we got to change some stuff up collect some coins all right got a few more left 
Is that it? All right, here we go. Usually it's like one stage and then you go into the boss. Uh, the bar below my health, you see, you can build it up. I've only used it up to the one. It can go up to the three, but I haven't gotten that far yet because we haven't had enough stuff to, you know, kill or take damage on yet. All right, and you see it's leveled up to uh, the first one so far. Maybe we can get it up to two and try it out. I'm not exactly sure what it does. All right, let's turn around. Here we go. All right, the boss is in there somewhere, right there. All right, so that's a little discerning to be able to try to keep up with. Except for you do have the red thing right around the bottom of him. So we're going to go ahead and use our skill. Almost had it up to two right there. I probably could have got it, but we need to go ahead and finish this guy off. Ooh. All right, and after this, we all take a look at some other campaign modes, or not campaign modes, but like game modes that are available. Uh, there's one called the tower. It's basically like an infinite tower that you can run until you can't do them anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I am so far enjoying this game. Uh, if you're wondering what server I'm on, I'm on America 6, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm on. It's probably going to say full, but that's because it's been out for a couple weeks now, I believe. All right, we unlocked the store. So I have sellable gems. I can sell them all. Gave me a nice boost of these guys right here. Uh, you can buy them as well. So that's pretty cool. And public store. All right, so you can buy stuff out of the public store when you need it. And I'm assuming those are the things that you use to level up your guy. Once you reach like level 10, you have to uh, go here, not here, Oop, wrong button. You have to go to the hero tower and level it up. So once I get to level 15, I'll have to upgrade this and then we'll be able to go to level 20 with this guy. And there's a lot more characters, but the one I wanted to take a look at was the infinity tower. Pretty cool game mode. I did like two of them. So we're gonna resume this and see how far we can get. All right, here we go. It automatically has auto attack on when you first start it, so it's a bit odd. And once it gets a lot harder, I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to take auto attack off and do the combos yourself. Even with auto attack on, it actually continues on to the next stage. So I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, it's taking stuff out pretty quick, so I guess we're pretty strong for the current floors that we're starting on. Obviously, these are the lower levels. Stage five, stuff still going down pretty quick. All right, and the boss is one of those electric frogs. One hit, no problem. We're going to current level four or five. I believe this is where you get a chest from, I think. Uh, hopefully we got a chest. We can get some pretty cool stuff from that. Uh, this chick's got a shield. Uh, so let's get back on the other side of there we go. So yeah, you're gonna have to use some strategy to get past some of this stuff. It's just not face roll it and then you're done stage seven all right basic stuff here all right we have a fairly large boss back here i uh, believe once you kill the boss though you pretty much finish the stage so keep away from the trash focus straight on the boss you still control your guy after it's over and let's continue on all right stage eight all right, we got a. I remember this guy from uh, stage, or not stage one, but the chapter one of the story mode. He's the final boss you fight there, and then he joins you at the beginning of the second one. So it's got actually a pretty cool storyline to it as you go along. Uh, it's actually a wide storyline, so if you want to actually read it, you'll have to go through. Uh, that'd be interesting to try to compile all of it on video. Uh, that would actually take a while too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this guy off real quick. There we go. Current floor was nine, so let's continue on. We're doing pretty good so far. Not sure how far we're gonna actually be able to get. All right, we got another ball straight out of the bat. Pretty looking, pretty cool looking skills. Now there are other heroes that you can get. I've not looked into any of them yet. And it looks like we need to start avoiding some stuff because they're starting to hit a little bit harder. All right, up to floor 11 next. All right, here we go, starting off. 
small guys trash at the beginning bosses mixed in so if you keep up with that red thing on the bottom that's where you know the boss is at he's behind me again all right we're gonna have to go ahead and hit a skill get some more extra damage out uh where'd he go he disappeared on me he did it again turn around so they are starting to get a little bit more difficult they're actually they have extra abilities now we did take him out all right continuing on to floor 12 how far are we actually going to be able to make it i'm not really died in this game this is one of the other heroes that you can uh, have in this game not really sure the name so don't don't hate on me if i don't know the names yet um actually very new to blue blaze or blaze blue i'm sorry see i can't even get the name right so we're gonna learn a lot with this game because i'm actually enjoying playing it all right chick you got to die there we go all right and save i've got one of the uh, power-ups left looks like we're close to the next one on it so if we save up too holy crap all right they threw a lot of big stuff in here on me with the boss all right boss is behind me it's the wolf all right so the two of them saved up it just means you can have multiples you know used in a row I kind of wasted that one just killing the trash on it. I should have been using it on this guy. Like this right here. Get some combos going. And if you repeat the same moves over and over, you do less damage. So I, I have noticed that. So you need to change up your uh, skill set. You know, what moves you're doing. Don't just try to face roll it. Because eventually it's going to get harder and harder. And you're not going to get very far. All right. Let's get some kind of chain going on him. He always ends up behind me. Get off of me. All right, here we go. I know this is not going to be the last one we're going to be able to do. All right, well, yeah, we're going to be able to kill this one, hopefully. If we can stay down and just get some attacks out on him. There we go. All right, it's getting a little stressful now. All right, so... I'm expecting the next floor to probably get wrecked on. If not, stage 15 will probably be it. All right, so this guy, I kind of know his moves a little bit, what he does, you know. He's got that explosion, and then you got to stay out of the way of that. And let's just try to keep him bouncing around a little bit. All right, we got a power up. Turn around. Whoa, wrong way. Well, at least we did, uh, whoop, he got me with that one. Wow. It's gonna be really close. Get up, get up, get him. Gotta switch some things up. He's trying to get behind me, get away from that. All right, there we go. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ooh, that was too close. That was way too close. All right, floor 15. This is probably going to be it. Here we go. All right, we got small stuff at the beginning. And we got another one of the wolves that just absolutely just took well over half my health. And yeah, this is going to be the last stage that we're going to be able to do until we upgrade some stuff. Ah, but we're going to try anyway. And we got 110 hit points left. Trying to protect both sides, but I did take a hit and that is it. All right, so we got to the top of that. It's uh, what, stage 14 is what we got to. It's not bad. Uh, you can reset them from VIP levels. And I've heard if you do VIP levels, it, you can like rank them up. They also have Wi-Fi battles, real-time battles. Once we'll, we'll get into those eventually as well. But guys, let me know what you think about this game. This is Blaze Blue. You can download it on iOS and Android. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this game, leave them in the comment section below. 
As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.